In this video, you will learn the two ways that you can get DocuSign to automatically place your fields on your documents in just three easy steps. And that's using a feature called Autoplace. Let's use this offer letter as an example. It's just a simple letter that a HR would send to a candidate. But since the information in the document varies for each candidate, the signature block might from time to time move up or down on the page. And therefore the DocuSign fields will have to follow those signature blocks, right? That's why we need a feature called Autoplay. The rule trains DocuSign on where the field should go for a given template even if the content the length the number of pages of the document that you upload to DocuSign differs from what is saved in the template itself. Let's take it for a spin and see how this works inside of DocuSign. And before we start, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, and I'm the founder of Solisan Consulting. Since 2019, we've helped thousands of companies just like yours automate document workflows with eSign templates, databases, and integrations. So if you're tired of fighting documents and manual tasks alone, you will find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with one of our automation consultants. And if you're just starting with Doc DocuSign, I strongly recommend that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet using the link down below because it will help you understand how to use templates and features like Autoplace. Now let's go back to set up Autoplace in our fields in DocuSign. So the first step will be to create a new DocuSign template. So just look for the Create Template button. Here we're going to name our template. So let's just say this is a template for our offer letters. And I'm going to upload my HR offer letter template, which is this document right here. You can see it does not contain any information it only has one page next we're going to add our recipient so the first will be the candidate and then let's just say that the hr also needs to count to sign next step is to add our fields here i'm simply going to drag and drop my fields for my candidates and for the hr copy those fields and place them there the next step is to find a unique word or phrase near the desired location of our DocuSign field. And this is what's going to be known as the anchor text. The anchor text is the text that DocuSign will use as a reference to know where to position your field in relation to that anchor text. You can use any unique phrase that you like and hide it by changing it to white in the document template itself if that's necessary. Let me show you. Here I'm going to use the word human resource once we found the anchor we just need to add the anchor to our fields you can use any word or phrase that you like and if you can't find one that's unique you can just simply add one into the document template and change the font color to white here i'm going to use the word human resources so i don't actually need to do anything in my word document but if i didn't have a unique phrase in my document that was super close to my field I would simply go back to my Word document template, which is this one. And here I would add something like, this is my anchor. And I would simply make this text as white. This way, DocuSign will be able to see it and use it as the anchor text, but not my recipient. So here, I'm just going to use human resources because I had this and it's very close to my field. I'm going to select my first field that I want to set up autoplace on, like this uh, signature field here, and then go to location and click on setup. From here, I'm simply going to enter my anchor text. Now, obviously you need to be very careful when you're typing this because it has to match exactly what it says on the document and then click on apply. Now DocuSign will look for that word, it's found it and it says one field auto placed near human resources. So what we need to do now is simply to move the field back to where I want it to go and if you look to the right of my screen, we have the number of pixels that just get updated, which means that the noun DocuSign will know each time you're using this document template. And then we need to do the same thing for all our fields. So what I actually recommend is that you just type in the anchor text once, and then you copy this in your clipboard, with command C, and then you apply. And then you just do it again for all your fields and you don't have to type it again you just paste so we need to do this for all our fields we don't need to use different anchors for different recipients what's the most important is that you find an anchor that's as close as possible to your signature block and that it's also uniquely present on the document because if it's not uniquely present on the document DocuSign will add an occurrence of this of the field you're using the anchor text with because if it's not a unique phrase or word DocuSign will each time it finds an occurrence of the anchor text on the document which is not something that you might want for example if i use the word employment to set up my anchor text i would have had at least one two three 
four, five, five occurrences of each field on my document, which is not what I want. Unless you really want your candidates to sign everywhere on the document, which I don't think. We also strongly suggest that you create a glossary of all your anchor text and share this across your company so that everybody uses the same in your organization and they don't delete them from the document template that they use to create the document. But this could be useful if you wanted recipients to take an action on each page. For example, let's say that you want them to initial each page of the document, or you could simply add an anchor text hidden in white in the word document and just place it inside of the header or footer like this make it white and then once you upload it inside of DocuSign and set up auto place on this initial field using this anchor and therefore DocuSign will add an initial on every page of the document just an example now that we set this up in the template we're going to do a test to see how it works in action so we're going to save and close our template and I'm going to create a new envelope from scratch so to use that template by the way this is called a dynamic template you want to start from the home page and then click on start and then send an envelope. So I've created this offer letter and you can see there's two pages. And so the signature block has been moved to the second page, but you can see that my anchor text is here. So technically if I upload this document, even though the signature fields in my DocuSign template are on the first page, they should follow. So let's just upload that one and check that the rule we've set up actually worked. So now uploading the offer letter that's just been filled. Automatically DocuSign is prompting me and telling me, hey, there is a template that's matching with this document. Do you want to apply a template? I've got a couple different templates that I've recorded for different YouTube videos. So that's why I've got two, but I know that this is the one that I want because I've just called it offer letters, the one that I've built with you just today. So let's click on apply. And you can see actually it says there's only one page in my template. But here you can see that it says that the document I've uploaded has two pages. So let's see how DocuSign behaves. Instantly it added my recipient here. So now it says that the offer letter was successfully applied and my candidate and my HR were added. I'm just going to add my name and email to get past those steps. And technically if it worked, then my fields should be exactly where they need to go on my signature block on the second page. You can see here that they're here. Let's check the location. They are perfectly matching my signature lines. And that's because we've set up autoplay and voila. Now, if you often need to send dynamic documents, however, and are serious about how you're running your business or department, you should automate the process using integration so that you can create those documents in one click instead of having to prepare them manually in Word, upload them to DocuSign, add your recipient's information, and then track if the recipient has signed or not. And that's why the most forward thinking businesses that we work with prefer to go with the second option that I'm going to show you now. The second option is to use an online document generation tool that mail merges the documents for you and uploads them inside of DocuSign. The document generation tool I like to use is called DocuPilot because it's easy to use and reasonably priced. Let me explain how it works. Let's say that I store information about my candidate in a database. This could be a Google Sheet, an Airtable, a HR software, it doesn't matter. I can simply click on a button from within my database and that button will send the information about the candidate to DocuPilot where my template with my anchor text is configured. Then DocuPilot will spit out a mail merge document and send this through to DocuSign. And then DocuSign will pick this up and send the documents of the signature to the candidate. And then once my document has been signed by the candidate, the document will return inside of my database it will update the record and I will just see the completed PDF back in my database. If you want to give that a shot, you can sign up for a free DocuPilot trial account using the link down below. It also contains a coupon code for a discount if you decide to become a paid customer. And if you're wondering how to send the information from your database to DocuPilot, it's very easy using an integration platform such as Make or Zapier. These two platforms act as the glue between all your software so that they can talk to each other to and allow you to automate all the workflows that you're normally having to do manually. You'll also find a link to create free accounts for Make and Zapier down below. And there's just so many ways that admin work can be automated nowadays. And if you want my sincere opinion, businesses that are going to thrive in the next years are the ones with strong standard operational procedures and automated processes, not the ones who are doing everything manually. Also, all these admin jobs are being replaced. So if you're still doing everything manually in Word or in Excel in 2023, your job is going to be automated. And I believe that if you don't want to be replaced, you need to learn how this system works so that you can keep your 
value in the marketplace. And as always, if you'd like our help to automate your workflow, you can schedule a strategy session with one of our automation consultants using the link in the description just down below. Our services include templates, databases, and integration development. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy signing. Ciao.